All right, so today I want to talk about efficiencies that you can get with Google Fonts. Efficiencies beyond what you already get by using Google Fonts and the content delivery network. So you're able to leverage the fact that people have fonts that are already cached in their browser on your website. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at situations where maybe you want to use multiple fonts, but you don't need all the characters in there. So in this situation, what I'm doing is I want to use three fonts. So there's railway. I want to use that as my body text. So my paragraphs, my footer, all that stuff. E.B. Garamond, I've decided is the font that I want to use for my two titles. And Playfair Display, I want to use specifically for the ampersands that are inside my titles. So these are the font choices that as the designer that I've made that I want to apply to my site. But I know that every time I download a font, I could be downloading 20, 30, 40K per font. And that's a lot of bandwidth if I know that two of the fonts are only going to have, you know, six characters, one character for the ampersand. I want to be able to reduce the amount of bandwidth that I'm using up for my fonts. So I'm going to look at features that we get with Google Fonts to do this. So let's start off with Railway. I want to use Railway. There it is, Railway. And I'm going to say that I want the 300 weight. So I select this style here, did a search, found Railway, click on the style. There it is, the light 300. That's the one that I want. Here's the HTML. I can copy and paste this into my HTML file, or I can copy and paste this into my CSS. And I'm going to show you how you can edit this once you've got it. Here's my HTML and my CSS. So my H1, my H2, you can see there's a span inside of them and I've got the character entity for an ampersand. So I want to style this with one font. I want to style over and out with my EB Garamond. I want to style this with Playfair Display and then the rest of the content on the page, I want to use Railway to do that. So I've got three imports, one for each of my fonts. And you can import multiple fonts with one CSS. Like you can have a list of different fonts, but we're trying to be a little bit more efficient here. We're trying to reduce the size. And for each one of the fonts, we're gonna set up some slightly different properties. That's why I have three different imports. So I'm gonna uncomment this. And you can see there's a query string at the end of this. This is the same URL for every Google font. This will download the CSS file that points to the font that needs to be downloaded. So we're saying, I want the family for this first one is going to be Railway. That's the font that I want to use on the body. And I'm going to specify for this that the weight that I want to use is going to be 300. So I'm not just taking railway and saying, oh yeah, give me the entire font file. I want only the 300 weight of railway. All the characters that are possible with it, but just the 300 weight. So in my HTML styles here, I will specify, hey, railway, this is my default font for my whole page. And I'm gonna specify, uh, I could specify font weight is 300 by default. So for everything on the page, unless I specify otherwise, 300 is the weight that I'm going to use because that's the only one that I'm bringing in here. I can change the font size, but I'm going to leave this weight the same. Okay, so we have that set up. I've saved my CSS and now over here, there we go. I'm using the railway font for all this content right here. And if I look in my network tab, I've got display cache checked off here. This is going to prevent the browser from downloading the font file, saving it, and then just giving me the cached copy because I'm, I'm going to go through different versions of it. I don't want it to cache the files. Okay, so railway weight 300. This is the CSS file. So I'm on the CSS tab. I'm looking at only the CSS file. If I look at the font section, here we go. This is the font file for railway. 20.3K. Not too bad. Um, it's only giving me the 300 weight. So I'm saving a little bit of memory that way with if I had for each other size, I'd get another 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 kilobytes, 
worth of additional file size for each of those additional sizes. But I'm okay with that. That, for my font, for my whole page, with the exception of my titles, is fine. Now, E.B. Garamond, let's put that one in. So I'll go back to Google Fonts and we'll search for that one. We'll remove this and we're going to want E.B. Garamond. There it is. I select that one. And I want the italic version. So there's the 400 weight, the italic. That's the one I'm going to select again. Here we go with all those properties or we can do the import version. I'm going to do it myself right in here because it's a simple thing to edit. So EB Garamond. Now that's what I'm going to be putting in here in the font family. EB space Garamond. And anytime in CSS that you are going to be putting a file name or a font name that has a space in it, you need to put the quotation marks around it. Otherwise it'll be seen as two things. In the query string, you're not allowed to have spaces. If you want a space, what you have to put in here to represent that is the plus sign. So there we go. We've got EB Garamond. That's my font. I haven't specified yet uh, the weight or the fact that it's italic, but I'm going to do that here. I'm going to say, yeah, font style is going to be italic. I want the 400 weight. I want italic. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to specify colon ital comma wght so i'm setting those two things with an at sign now one meaning yes for the italic and then the weight the one that i want 400 there we go so i'm specifying now that i want italic and the 400 weight okay so I'll save that we'll come back here and see what we're getting all right, so this top one, that was the railway, and now here's the EB Garamond. This is with the italic and the 400 weight. So just one style still, but it's 24K, so it's almost 25K for that one font. So I'm spending 25K of bandwidth just to be able to apply that font right here on these few characters. Not very useful, not very good, not very efficient. So we will add another property inside of here. We will say, ampersand text equals and then write the characters that you want to use. I want the word over with a capital O and lowercase verb and then I need a U and a T. So over and then the UT from out. I've already got the O in over. I save that. Come back here and we've gone from 24.8k to 2.5 I'll zoom in, make this easier for you guys to see. So 24, this was the original version of EB Garamond, 24.8. And then the new version, with just those characters, we're down to 2.5. And we're getting the same effect here. It's the same font doing the same thing. But we're spending a lot less bandwidth to get that result. Now, do the same thing for the ampersand. So this one was going to be Playfair Display. So I'll uncomment that and I'll put it down here for my ampersand. Again, there's a space in the name, so we have to put the quotation marks around it. Now with family, Playfair plus sign display. And then what size, what weight? Well, I'm gonna go for the 400 again. I know that that is an available size for me. So WGHT at 400 and text equals. Now this one is another sort of exception. I can't write just an ampersand here. Everything that goes in here into this query string has to be URL encoded. I had no problem here because these were all just standard characters. But the ampersand is a special character in a query string, meaning this is the end of the previous value and the start of a new one. So it's going to say text is nothing, no characters. So I'm not going to give you anything for this font. Or maybe it'll say, okay, you didn't specify anything, so I'm giving you the whole file. So I need to figure out how am I going to do this text equals that 
So right now I've got the whole thing, just the weight 400. I've got the whole thing in there. We'll take a look. And this is the one right here. Play for a display, 23.8. So that's what I get with one character. This ampersand is 23.8K. I need to specify just that ampersand, but I have to do it in a way that's URL encoded. So this is what it's going to look like. Text equals, and then the ampersand, and actually we don't want to encode the equal sign. We just want to encode the ampersand. This is what we'll have to write in the query string. We're going to say the text is equal to percent %26. Every time there's a percentage sign, when that URL is read, it's going to understand that percent %26 means ampersand. So this is what we have to put inside of here. So I'll say ampersand, there we go. And text equals percent %26. So I only want that one character. That's the only character that I'm using. And here we go. We've gone from 23.8 down to 1.6. Here, let me clear this out, refresh it, and we'll see exactly what we're getting. So this is now the, type, the total weight in bandwidth of what we're downloading. 2.5K for over and out, 1.6 for the ampersand, and 20.3K for the rest of the text on the page. So we've saved ourselves about 45, 48K worth of bandwidth, which may not seem like a huge thing, but you multiply that out across a whole bunch of different people who are downloading your site. That's a lot of bandwidth that's saved. that's not being transmitted across the network. And it means that your browser is able to download the page a little bit more efficiently. Maybe you're not going to be able to get a cached copy of the file because nobody else has embedded those characters exactly. But once it's done once, then that's cached in the browser and you never have to download it again, or the user never has to download it again. So if I take off disable cache and refresh, okay, I've done it once before, now I'm loading it from memory. But that initial time, that initial load, we've taken a huge chunk of that away. So saved a lot of memory. All right, so I hope that uh, helps you out makes you think more about efficiencies when it comes to fonts. And as always, thanks for watching.